This is the best defense to use in Madden 23. It shuts down the run. It has airtight pass coverage. Nope. Get over here. And gets instant sacks all game. So if you want to see what defense I'm using to get results like this, oh my God. stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable butt coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In today's video, I'm once again going to be using my New Orleans Saints offense and Denver Broncos defensive ebooks as they are easily my most favorite playbooks to use right now. I personally think they're the best playbooks to use in the game. Before I get into the video, though, if you guys are enjoying this content and want to see more, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section as it really helps out the video and the channel. But if you want to see more money plays on offense or defense and you don't want to wait, you can check out these or any of my ebooks right now. All you have to do is click the links in the description or the top pinned comment and have them sent directly to the email of your choice for instant download. I started this game out on offense and I am trying to record some new offensive plays to make gameplays about since all I'm using is my gun stack by flex offense and early on it isn't working out very well as I try to set up a cover three one play touchdown only to throw a deep interception that I'll just have to call a punt. On defense I'm going to be using the dime 2-3 as this formation is one of the best defenses in the game that no one really knows about considering that this is the only formation in the game that allows you to substitute a cornerback at one of these linebacker positions which is really helpful in coverage and for the blitz that I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit later today. I'm only going to be using two different plays throughout this entire game and that is the cover two man and the overstorm brave these are both very well known plays by now but i'm going to show you guys some new ways to use these plays that i think make these plays even better the setup for cover two man works in any defense in man 23 is the adjustments are universal all you have to do is press the defensive backs which is y or triangle then down the left stick to play underneath and that's pretty much it you have the option to shade inside or outside if you want to but it's really up to you this setup works because the cornerbacks in coverage will now play all the short routes and leave the safety to take away any deep routes over the top the only other thing you want to do is use your fastest defensive end which you can also sub out for a linebacker and use your him to cut off routes over the middle of the field on this play i shaded inside and you can see that everything is locked up except for the out routes which he sails wide out of bounds nope well, on the next play i'm going to show you a new blitz setup but before i do i also want to show you guys a very important coaching setup for this defense and that is to set your ball in the air defense to play receiver and that tight coverage will force more knockouts on whoever's catching the ball i just made an entire video about the coaching adjustments that you should be using right now as there's several advantages to be had here so if you guys didn't see that and want to see more i will have a link in the description and on-screen pop-up at the end of the video so stick around for that on the next play i want to send a little pressure so i'm going to show you guys a new setup for my overstorm brave defense in my previous video i already showed an alternate setup where all you have to do is pinch the defensive line and spread the linebackers to give you a look like this but I recently found that if you bring these two blitzing linebackers closer together like this, the pressure gets kicked up a whole nother level. On the first play though, I didn't get the full setup in. You can still see how the blitzing linebackers get in quickly through the B-gap as Herbert sidesteps it and gets it away to the tight end who is completely lost in a broken coverage. On the next play, I actually get the full setup in with the final steps of putting the defensive ends in a QB contain. And last but not least, usering whoever is covering the running back, putting him on a blitz and hovering the center before dropping back into coverage. On the next play, you can see that the pressure comes right through the a gap but it's going to be hard to sack herbert due to his fast release from gunslinger and on the next play i get beaten coverage by austin eckler who hits me for another first down some additional steps that you can do for this blitz to make it even better if you have time or to guess pass so that the rushers go directly for the quarterback and i also find that slanting the defensive line inside or crashing inside helps as well with the pressure that comes from the linebackers as on the next play you can see the pressure comes from all over and causes another bad pass that falls incomplete Another really important coaching adjustment is to have your cornerbacks matchup set to depth chart at any time that there's a star receiver on the field. As on the next play, that is intercepted at the one yard line by big play Slay in tight coverage of his number one receiver in Keenan Allen. So that saved me some points, but now I'm backed up on my goal line. So I decided to run it to get a little bit of breathing room. Then on the very next play on first down, I decided to take another shot as I'm still trying to get some new offenses out there for you guys. And this one ends the same way as the first one did. Derp. As I throw my second interception of the game. Back on defense, I 
I switch over to cover two man and usually zigs get wide open against this type of man coverage, but you can see that due to the underneath coverage, this zig gets locked up, but he still makes the tight catch, then breaks the tackle and goes out of bounds to get nine yards. On the next play, we go back to the blitz and the closer you can get these blitzing linebackers together, the better it will be as it turns their blitzing angle into a straight up sprint right through the middle as we finally get what would have been a second as any other quarterback. On the next two plays, he runs double drags and quick snaps me before I can get the setup in and gets the first down. So I decide to go back to cover two man, only this time from a different formation, as he really has only been passing this entire game. And that formation is the quarter one through seven. The setup and scheme from this defense is going to be the exact same, and the result is the exact same as well, as the zig route gets locked up one more time, only to see Eckler break the tackle and get another nine yards. What the hell's going on the next play, he runs for the first time in a while. So since he is inside the 10, I want to bulk up a bit and I decide to go back to the dime to three. Only this time, I accidentally cross up the linebackers, which has a surprising effect of getting the defensive end completely unblocked. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Now that he's 20 yards, I go back to the quarter cover two and everything is locked up tight. Nope. On the next play, if you want to kick this pass rush up a notch, all you have to do is spread the defensive line and guess pass once again. The coverage is shutting everyone down and we get another sack with only three rushers, forcing him almost out of field goal range to a fourth and 28. Damn! But he takes the three and takes the lead. Back on offense, I'm still trying to run a new offense for you guys. <laughs> and it is still not working out. So after the sack, I decide to switch over to my empty Y Saint offenses. I need to try to win this game. On the next two plays, we go right down the field and we are already in field goal range before we go back to old reliable gun stack Y flex offense to run for another first down before hitting the running back in the flats to get a little bit closer out of bounds. Then we hit the tight end and we are just moving right down the field with no problems inside the 10. Then on first and goal from the nine, we run it one more time. Break yourself, fool. This time we get hit stick by Herb Adderley to fumble at the goal line it was, should have been a touchdown to take the lead. Now with only seconds left, he tries to run a play, but the cover two man shuts everything down once again to fourth another sack, and he decides to just let the clock run out. In the second half though, I can't help but notice he has caught every contested catch, so much so that I am constantly checking my coaching adjustments to make sure that they are set right, as I should have gotten at least one knockout by now. On the next play, he quick hikes me again before I can set up the blitz, getting him almost into the red zone. Then on the next play, he hasn't ran much, so I am spraying my line for better pass rush before he finally decides to hit me with an inside zone. So in the next play, I pinch the defensive line to stop that, but doing this completely kills the pass rush as he hits me over the middle to get to the two before punching it in on the very next play. Damn it! And now with under two minutes left in the third quarter, I am down two scores and I'm not playing around anymore. So we're going right back to our big play offense, the empty Y Saint, because we need to get down the field in a hurry and we're going to just work this corner route until he stops it. I see cover three on the next play, so I hit Goddard for a tough catch. Then from 21 yards out, we score quickly with Smitty. Just like that! Back on defense and back to the cover two, but he, is, but he is still passing and hitting double drags. On the next play, we get stuck on the wrong play. Oh, he almost had it. Then on third and six, the coverage is tight once again, and the ball sails wide as we force a much needed three and out at the start of the fourth quarter. And now we go back to our bread and butter offense, the gun stack wide flex, as the plan was to kill clock and score, but that plan changes quickly as on third down, I see he's in a cover three. So I switch to my cover three bomb to fade out. Break yourself, fool. <laughs> We ain't throwing no picks on this play as we go from two scores down to on top just like that. On defense, the coverage is tight, but for some reason, everyone is catching everything with no knockouts. So trust me that it does help sometimes. On the next play, we get another coverage breakdown as the man defenders switch for some reason. Where you going? I don't know why though, as I'm starting to think that EA just wants me to lose at this point. But oddly enough, he safe catches it for what would have been a first down before getting up and backtracking to get to second and inches. Those inches turn out to be critical as on the next play, he runs the ball up the middle, clearly gets passed with forward progress, only to win the tackle battle and fall backwards once again to lose the first down yards needed. <laughs> Now in third inches, I'm thinking that he's probably going to pass, so I choose the cover two man spy one more time from the quarter one through seven, and I start making my passing adjustments before quickly switching over to the under smoke. No! Forcing him into a fourth and two. And now with only two minutes left, he has to go for it. The coverage is as tight as it's been all game, as everyone is locked up once again. So he tries to take off outside to run for the first down. No Hassan Reddick gets an instant shed and tracks him down for a big sack to effectively end the game. As all I have to do now is get a first down and this game is over, which I do in the next play as we get inside the red zone, 
forcing my opponent to rage quit. See ya! With only 10 points on the board. So that's it. That's the video. If you guys enjoyed the content and want to see more, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. It really helps out the channel. Other than that, I will have more offenses and defenses I was using in this video popping up on screen. So if you guys want to know more about them, just click the links as I'm sure it'll help with your game. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Matt Mice it out. For more help or just want to show your support, then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.